Hey guys and welcome to Words of Scale. So today I'm recording what I truly believe is the best ChatGPT SEO tutorial ever. And I have personally watched dozens of different videos on the topic and uh, some of them are quite laughable. Like some people suggest you write a command like uh, write a SEO optimized article. Some people go as far as saying that adding an FAQ schema is what makes an article SEO optimized. But today, not only am I going to show you step by step the whole process that starts from the outline, never forget the outline, but I will show you all these using free tools only. So no paid tools is going to be used in this video with the exception of Surfer, but you don't have to buy Surfer. This is just for our reference. Again, all of the tools used today in this video are going to be free of charge. So let's get started. So the first mistake YouTubers and beginner copywriters that use ChatGPT make is that they rely on the def default ChatGPT outline. And it is a coin toss, a hit or miss. ChatGPT may produce a perfect outline, which is going to score highly and rank well and it may produce a shitty outline. We have to be very deliberate when it comes to our outlines. We have to know for a fact that this outline has a fighting chance of ranking on the top of Google. So let's pick a keyword, which is a fairly low competition. This is from a niche that I have um, quite a bit of experience in. So we'll choose a keyword like can dogs eat longan? And just for for us to have a starting point, let's ask ChatGPT to write an article on that. Can dogs eat longan? Dogs eat dogs can eat longan fruit in moderation as a treat, but it is not a necessary part of their diet. Longan is a typical fruit, a tropical fl fruit rather native to southern China and south Southeast Asia. Mm -hmm. And while ChatGPT is doing its thing, we'll go to Surfer SEO where I have my keyword ready. Can dogs eat longan? And as you can see, I've been experimenting, so I'll empty the field. So we are starting from zero. And looks like this is our article. And again, this is not how I suggest you write the article. This is just to get a reference point. So we can see that uh, there are no H2s or H1s, and we could have fixed that, but we'll do it later. Let's just say that the default score is 18. And now let's do it a correct way. So for this to happen, we'll go and look at the SERPs. And I was advised on checking the SERPs manually. And what you want to look for is the websites with very low DA, domain authority, that rank highly. And we basically want to copy these websites as far as the outline goes. So this is DA10. This one is the 77 doc time, a very popular site in the niche, and we'll we won't use it as a reference. Another one, DA26, DA7, and this is my site. I sold it a a year ago almost, so I don't know how it performs, but I used to own this site here. Mm -hmm. DA14. Again, D14, and I think we have plenty. So step one is to select the websites that rank on the top of Google, but have very little domain authority. And the assumption here is that if they are ranking on top of Google, that means that they don't have a very strong backlink profile, but they do have a very strong content. So step two is to use a free Chrome plugin that which you can get in my Discord, which is called Words at Scale Extractor. And what it does, it copies all the H2s and H3s. And I show it to you in a second. So this side here, <laughs> well, I have actually no idea how this is number one. Let's just double check. I have a lot of referring domains and a lot of backlinks, so here we go. But it doesn't matter, we'll still use it as a reference, so we'll press this button here and you get this outline copied to clipboard, like so. And we will do the editing later. Site number two, we will need to scroll it 
just in case anything pops up because it messes up with the plugin. Let's hit copy and we'll paste it again and then just re rinse and repeat guys, rinse and repeat. Okay, and this is my website. Well, it used to be my website, not anymore. So, two more to go. And this one here. Outline copied to clipboards. And I, I have actually quite a few ideas on how to develop this outline structure even further, but it all comes down to time and money <laughs> because I'm giving, giving it away for free. And now I will just tidy up the headings. So looks like this ended here and we won't be copying the H1s because they are pretty self-explanatory. You have your keywords in the H1. Two more to go. Mm -hmm. Conclusion. Okay. So what we'll do next is we'll copy this here. Then I'll go to the ChatGPT commands library that I give away to my patrons. And here I have an outline command, which is suggest a blog post outline based on the below subheadings. So suggest an outline for can docs eat longin based on the below subheadings. Here we go. Overview. And it's actually trying to assign H2s and H3s as well. Can doxit long end, what is long end, health benefits, allergic reactions, servings, how to feed long into a dog, how many long ends should a dog eat, similar foods, foods that are safe and unhealthy for dogs to eat. Conclusion. Okay. So we'll paste it in a separate document. And um, I don't really like the border collie and foods your puppy should not eat video. Dragon fruit as well. It's not really related. Then there is another command I like to run again in the commands library, which is analyze the above and suggest additional subheadings that can that may be missing. So I'll run this one. Some additional subheadings and talking points that could be included in an outline about can doxit longer are Nutritional value of long end for, long end for dogs. Precautions. How long compares how long end compares to other fruits for dogs? Long end as a training treat. That's a nice one actually. I wouldn't have thought about it. How to store long end, long end for dogs. This is nice also. And this is the way we are not just copying and pasting, we are creating our own outline, which is as detailed as possible. And this is what Google loves. And this is what's going to give us the competitive advantage when it comes to ranking on Google. Okay, so now we will run another command again. Use the information from the additional outline, suggest a new one. We will just say use the information from of the suggestions above and create a new outline. 
and let's see what happens. We still have our over overview, can dogs eat longan, what is longan, nutritional value of longan for dogs, so this is an addition, this wasn't here before, yeah, comparison to other fruits for dogs, risks, pros and cons, using longan as a training treat, storing longan, mm -hmm. and I actually believe that not everything has been taken into consideration, so fuse the above outline with the low information. So what I'm trying to do is, is to get the best outline possible. And this is where the winning is done. So we haven't even thought about LSI keywords and keyword stuffing. Like 90% of your SEO success is in the outline. And words, everybody is so hung up on words and surfer SEO and neuron writer, but words are byproducts of outlines. So we ha if you have a very detailed, robust outline, by default, you might have a very high probability of using the right words. And right now it looks like one of the best articles on the topic. Okay. <laughs> wow. And this is our final outline. So this is why how it's going to look like. And now let's go to work. So the first one would be an intro, right? An intro on can docs eat longan. And I think we'll open Google Docs. Okay, so this is our intro. And our article is Can Docs Eat Longan? And a note to myself we should really use ChatGPT to make it more clickbaity. And I think I'll do it just in a second. So this is our intro. And we'll go suggest 10 click worthy titles for Can Dogs Eat Longan? Is Longan fruit safe for dogs to eat? Five things you need to know. The surprising health benefits of longan for dogs, the risks of giving your dogs longan. And by the looks of it, I like the number 9 and 10, separating fact from fiction. I like this one. Mm -hmm. Okay. Now let's go to work. And the second one is what we call the answer target. This is something that Google values. Write a detailed paragraph on can dogs eat longan? The question of whether dogs can eat longan is a common one among pet owners. Longan is a tropical fruit. And it is a, there is a small intro and I don't like that. So I'll just keep the part that addresses the question. since we will have an opportunity to expand on that further. So this is our answer target and it is advisable to reward it. So can dogs eat longan? This is our answer. Okay, what is longan? And we have that in the intro, so we can delete this from the outline. 
nutritional value of long and for dogs. Gaon, write, write a paragraph on nutritional value of long and for dogs. And I'll show you another trick. It's not a trick, I, I think it's getting more and more popular, but this information here has to be fact-checked. And since we, are, we want to optimize our resources and our time, there is a website called perplexity.ai where we can ask the same question and we will get a fact-checked answer with citations and references. And we can choose between concise and detailed. I think it just appeared recently. It wasn't like this before. Let's check the detailed. Mm -hmm. Now I like this answer here. I won't be comparing this to the output from ChatGPT. I'll just paste it over and our initial outline was nutrition value of long end for dogs. And again the idea behind everything it might look like a tedious process but the idea is to write the best piece of content ever and people complain that AI is diluting the contents uh, but it is only in the way you use it if you use it like I'm showing you it brings value instead and I, I see we have citations here so let's ask ChatGPT to write a detailed summary summary of the below and hopefully, hopefully we will lose the numbers. And it's just a good practice to rewrite. So one AI rewrites the output of another and it makes it human. <laughs> um, hopefully you can hear in the irony in this. Mm -hmm. So our health benefits, we've covered that kind of to an extent, but let's still, let's try and answer that. And again, this is something that has to be fact-checked. So let's use perplexity once again, and this is a free tool. And so far, I think there is an overlap in contents between the health benefits and nutritional value. And that's okay, we can tidy it up later. I won't be showing you the whole editing process and I won't be editing this uh, outline heavily anyways. And I think I'll be pausing the video here because we have a lot of headings ahead of us to cover. And if I were to show you everything that would have made this video like an hour, and this is not my intention. So I'll be pausing it now. So guys, this is our final piece of content. We have our H1, which is can dogs eat long end, separating fact from fiction. We have our answer target. We're talking about nutritional value, health benefits, potential hazards, side effects, allergic reactions, dogs with diabetes on long end, how to feed long end to your dogs, how many long end should a dog eat, storing long end for dogs, long end based recipes, long end, how long end compares to other fruits. And we have a very detailed uh, conclusion. So let's copy this and paste it over to Surfer. And uh, we have not done any optimization whatsoever. <laughs> wow. <laughs> oh my God. And it's already at 79, guys. 79. So we have the average is 75, the top is 81. And just by following the structure of a outline that I have created. We are able to be comparable 
to our competition and uh, only two points separates us from the top result. So now I think personally the we can do some editing, we can proofread it. Uh, there is very little that we can do in terms of optimization. I mean, yes, there are some words that are missing from here, but again, just by following the outline workflow, we were able to score very highly. And so, but I wanted to show you the whole process. So there are two things that you can do. And the first one is a free tool called searchresponse.io. What it allows you to do is for every keyword like can dogs eat longan, can dogs eat longan, we have already covered that, is lychee fruit poisonous, can dogs eat lychee, are lychees poisonous? So to be quite honest, these are not very related to the main query, so I would not use them. And normally I would have um, created an FAQ section based off of this. Let's look at the people also ask. I mean, people also search for. Can dox it long and can dox it lychee, can dox. Oh, just let's have some fun. And the only way you should decide on whether to include an FAQ or not in the end is whether it's it is relevant to the main query. So here we have a luxury of double checking everything with Surfer SEO. So if we were to add can dogs eat lychee, and I hope I'm spelling it correctly, lychee, yeah. And we can see that including this query did nothing to our score. Let's pick another one. Can ducks eat rambutan, whatever it is. Can dogs eat rambutan. And again, our score stayed the same. So I see very little point in going to ChatGPT and populating these queries. So in this example here, I will leave it without the FAQ. But so you know, there is a free tool, searchresponse.io, that allows you to parse those results. And let's just check related searches. Can oxid bananas. Well, this is far from the topic. And again, we, we can just double check it here. Can dogs eat bananas? And again, our score remained the same. And the other two, if you believe in the LSI keywords, and if you want to have additional optimization methods available to you, but you don't want to pay for Surface SEO or Neuron Writer, there is a tool which is called Ultimate Keyword Hunter. It is free, you have to download it. It works on Windows, but the way it works is as follows. You enter your seed keyword, you press parse sites, parsing completed, nine total, one failed. So this means that nine out of the 10, so the first page of Google have been analyzed. We will go to analysis. These are the websites, again, with the exception of Smart Dog Owner. Then we can hit analyze. And what it does, it collects all the keywords, analysis completed, and then we go to analysis results. And these are our keywords. So we had nine websites in total. So I reckon for a keyword to be valuable, it has to be mentioned uh, in at least five of the websites. And this, that's a very arbitrary number. I just picked it. So say I want five. And you can see that uh, this is a single word option not as valuable as the other ones. Now this is a two word option. Again, we want to filter the words that have been mentioned on at least five sites, dogs eat and health benefits. We will do the same for the three words variations. Again, at least five websites here and zero keywords. Let's change it to four just to show you the functionality. Okay, four. And 
here. Let's try four again. Three, maybe. Okay, so one, four word keywords. And you can copy this to a clipboard or you can use an inbuilt article preview. Let's paste this over. And we can see that the ones that are crossed off have been used. And the ones that remain like behavior, stomach, seat, that can be a nice addition to our article. And I would assume that by including that stomach or seat, we would have improved our SEO score even further. But I think this is plenty for, for this video here. If you think this has been valuable, press the like button, share and comment down below. Subscribe if you haven't already and I'll see you next time.